Hello, this is Steve at GreenFuelH2O.com. Today I want to go over how to hook up and run the 59 plate cell. Um, what we have here is the, the AC to DC power conversion box. This will take your uh, house power AC and convert it into DC that the uh, generator can use. This is the variable controller. This plugs into the house power and you'll be able to control the output of the generator with this dial. This is the flash arrestor. This arrestor goes between the tank and whatever project you're, you're um, using HHO on. Uh, it's very important that you have five foot of hose between the arrestor and um, your, the project you're using HHO on. That's very important. Here we have the two and a half gallon reservoir tank. This is the top. Here is your HHO out. So your hose will go here to your arrestor and then five foot of hose, at least five foot of hose to your HHO project. On the side of the tank here, these are the input ports going from the generator into the reservoir tank and on the bottom here is the output ports going from the reservoir tank to the generator. This is the HHO generator. It's 59 plates and it's meant to be used with 120 volts uh, DC power. On the front of it you'll see two terminals here. These are the power connection terminals. It doesn't matter if you put the positive here or the positive here. Um, you can put the negative here or the negative here. Uh, once you do hook it up you don't want and run it, you don't want to reverse them. So once you decide to use uh, the polarity that you've decided, don't reverse them. Okay, so this is pretty simple to hook up. What you want to do is you'll take your variable controller and plug it into the wall. Right here on the controller there's a full, off, <coughs> and variable. It's into the off position. Right here is a fuse. Um, it's a 15 amp fuse. So, if you go over 15 amps, that'll blow. That'll keep your uh, your whole system safe. The AC to DC converter plugs into the bottom of the variable controller, like that. On the other end of the converter you'll have two terminals. The black terminal is the negative and the white terminal is the positive. We'll take those, connect them to your generator, and you want to take the, the nuts and the lock washers that are provided I'm going to do put a lock washer on and a nut. You're going to tighten these down tight. The electrical is now ready to go. There's an on off switch on the converter. To turn it on, you want to flip that to the on position. And then on your controller, you want to either use the full position. Which is a which bypasses the controller and just puts straight power to the generator, or you can put it on variable, where you'll be able to use the dial to control the output of the generator. On the generator, you've got two ports at the top, 
port here and port here. These are the output ports. You'll take your 3 8 hose and connect them to these two ports here. It's important that the reservoir be placed above the generator. That way the water will circulate from the tank to the generator um, automatically. If you put the reservoir off to the side or below the generator, it won't function correctly. So you want to make sure you have it situated above the generator. On the bottom of the generator, you've got two ports. These are the input ports to the generator. Those two, you take a 3 8 hose and hook them to these two ports of the reservoir tank. At that point, what you'll do is uh, you want to mix up your water. We use only distilled water, no rainwater or tap water or reverse osmosis water, um, only distilled water. And chemical of choice is potassium hydroxide or KOH, same thing. What you do is you pre-mix the water. So you'll take a measuring device and you want to measure out two liters of distilled water. And then two to three teaspoons of KOH mixed into the water. You'll mix up the water and pour it into the top of the tank. Now, to fill the tank with water, you'll just repeat the process. Two liters of distilled water to two to three teaspoons of KOH until your tank. On the tank, you don't want to go any further than three quarters of the way up. All right, this concludes this video on how to set up and operate the 59 plate generator at greenfuelh2o.com. Thanks for watching.